But tonight, we begin in Las Vegas, where O.J. Simpson has died from prostate cancer at the age of 76. During his life, the former NFL running back star, Hollywood star, was known for many nicknames, including the mayor of Brentwood, the Juice, or just plain old O.J. But the families of Nicole Brown Simpson and Ron Goldman, they knew O.J. as the cold-blooded killer who they believe murdered their loved ones and got away with it. In 1995, few Americans can forget at the time, Simpson was acquitted of murder after what was the trial of the decade. A year earlier, O.J. Simpson's ex-wife, Nicole Brown, and her friend, Ronald Goldman, they were brutally stabbed to death outside of Brown's condo. Now, Nicole Brown was nearly decapitated. A short time later, police uncovered what they believe what was a mountain of evidence against O.J. Simpson. An arrest warrant was issued, but O.J. refused to turn himself in. Instead, we had Americans all across the country watching as O.J. Simpson led the police on a sl uh, slow-speed chase in that infamous white Ford Bronco. An estimated 95 million people watched this bizarre chase. Most people, if you were watching, you remember where you were at the time this was going on. And the day the verdict came in, you usually remember where you were that day, too. Now, this was all before O.J. eventually capitulated. This kicked off one of the most publicized trials in American history and a bloody glove seen, well, around the world. Take a look. All right, Deputy Jess, would you just take a step back, please? Thank you. Can we ask him to straighten his fingers and extend them into the glove as one normally might put a glove on? Yeah, I object yes. to this statement by counsel. All right, he appears to have pulled the gloves on, counsel. All right, would you show that to the jury, Mr. Simpson, in that manner? Thank you. Other hand, please. Can we ask him to back his please? Remember, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. Maybe I can demonstrate this graphically. I'm going to show you something. This is a knit cap. I'm going to put this knit cap on. And you've been seeing me for a year. If I put this knit cap on, who am I? I'm still Johnny Cochran with a knit cap. And if you look at O.J. Simpson over there, and he has a rather large head, O.J. Simpson in a knit cap from two blocks away is still O.J. Simpson. It's no disguise. It's no disguise. It makes no sense. It doesn't fit. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. For many Americans, that seemed like an incredibly weak defense amid a ton of forensic and circumstantial evidence stacked against O.J. Simpson. But the jury disagreed. Take a look. In the matter of the people of the state of California versus Orenthal James Simpson, case number BA097211, we, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant Orenthal James Simpson not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, a felony upon Nicole Brown Simpson, a human being, as charged in count one of the information. Superior Court of the State of California, County of Los Angeles, in the matter of the people of the State of California versus Orenthal James Simpson. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A, a felony upon Ronald Lyle Goldman. Of course, there's so much more to the story. In 2016, one juror admitted that she and many others in the almost all African-American jury thought O.J. was guilty, but used not guilty, that verdict, as payback for the Rodney King beating. Now, ultimately, O.J. was found liable in a civil court for the killings, but one of the only ways the victim's families were able to collect from Simpson was by publishing his book titled, If I Did It. Now, the bizarre, pretty brazen book detailed how O.J. believes the murders, the murders of Brown and Goldman could have happened if he did it. Now, despite his acquittal in 95, O.J. did spend a significant portion of his life behind bars. In 2008, he was sentenced to 33 years in prison for armed robbery and kidnapping, but he was later paroled in 2017. And in his last video before his death, Simpson said he was doing just great. Take a look. Hey, let me take a moment to say thank you to all the people who reached out to me. 
uh, uh, my health is good. I mean, obviously, I'm dealing with some issues, uh, but hey, I think I'm just about over it, and I'll be uh, back on that golf course hopefully in a couple of weeks. Around Los Angeles, O.J. Simpson was well known as ex extremely charismatic, friendly person. But those who knew him best, they saw a dark side. The juice had a violent temper, and the rest is history. O.J. Simpson dead at 76. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.